Hey, it's Jason Glover with Dad's That Cook. Thanks for joining us tonight. We've got something cool. I'm gonna do a little roasted chicken. I'm gonna put a little rub on it, but I'm gonna stuff some fig salami into the skin. Now this stuff is awesome. It's dried Greek figs, smoked paprika with Aleppo pepper. So we got the chicken over here hanging out. I've already dried and cleaned this guy up. I wanna show you about my rub. I love this stuff. Steak, chicken, and the pork. And I take those three and I just combine them all. Let's take some salt. Let's go right into the cavity of this guy and just stuff it in there. Grab some pepper, probably about a teaspoon or so. Put a little Italian seasoning in there. I'm gonna move this guy over. I'm gonna take this lemon, cut them down like that, and we're gonna stick them in half. Boom, boom, boom. Jam that inside, squeeze it a little. So you want to squeeze it, jam it. All right, let's open this guy up. Pretty soft, malleable. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some, I'm just gonna shove it way inside there, like so. Take a little more. All right, so we got the guy stuffed up like that. I'm gonna take my rub with love, equal parts, okay, and some kosher salt stuck inside here too. And I'm just gonna stuff that right on top and then just kind of pat it in and rub it. Now what we need to do is we need to close this guy up, get this guy in there like that. If you leave the cavity open like that, all the moisture comes flying out of the end and then you don't have a moist chicken. Jam that in there like so, hold them up, hold those wings up a little, grab this one over here and hold that one up a little. Normally I would uh, tie these guys up, but you know what, who cares? Now we're just gonna put the potatoes, we're gonna chop those up, cube them, stick them around it. We're gonna stick a little olive oil on them, some salt, some pepper, maybe a little Italian seasoning, and then that's it. We're all done, we're all set. We've got it all put together, it's all good. Got the oven, it's already prepped and ready to roll at 400 degrees. We're gonna throw that in for like about an hour. Okay, which an hour should be just plenty. All right, so let's check out and see what's going on with the bird. Let's get my little gloves out. Oh, oh man. Kind of burnt my little, my little skin there. But you know what? I know it's going to be good. I know it's still juicy, but the skin. <laughs> if you've seen some of my other roasted chicken ones, the skins come out really perfect. I took my eye off of it. I didn't look at it. I highly suggest you do that every once in a while. Let's bring it on over and cut it up. Stick it on a plate. Let's give it a shot. Take a little taste. Right in there, you can see the Aleppo pepper. See the chicken. Let's give it a whirl. Wow. I'm surprised, actually. It's got the sweetness from the fig. It's got the Aleppo, so it's got a little bit of heat. Tater, that comes out great. It's easy, simple. Mm-hmm. It's got all the flavors from the chicken, the salt, the pepper. The only thing I messed up on was the damn skin. That was it. All right, so you notice what happened here with the chicken where it got all burnt? You know what happened? is I didn't distribute the uh, salami Aleppo pepper thing underneath the skin properly. And I had big old lumps and all those lumps create the heat and that just freaked it all out and so it got all burnt. So I highly suggest next time, if you're gonna stuff something underneath the skin, make sure it's distributed evenly. Otherwise it's gonna get all burnt and it's gonna look like that one. However, it still tasted good. Hey, thanks for watching. You wanna see more cool videos like this one on Dad's I Cook? Make sure you subscribe. You want to win some really cool stuff? Subscribe. You want to get notified? Make sure you know what's going on? Subscribe.